Now we will be focusing on the abdominal viscera's and we'll study that which structures are derived from foregut, midgut and hindgut. From the foregut we can see that there is esophagus. It is coming down through the opening in the diaphragm. Then we see the stomach. Then we see the duodenum up to the second part, right? You can see that if I can take you inside the second part of the duodenum. From below onwards, the midgut derivative start means half part of the duodenum will be originated from the midgut. After that, we have got various coils of small intestine, the jejunum, the ileum, right? And then we see there is ileocecal junction. Now concentrate on the derivatives of midgut. This is the second part of the duodenum, lower area, the second uh, lower area, the third part and the fourth and it will continue with that of the coils of the jejunum and ileum. Then we come towards the cecum, the ascending colon, we see the transverse colon up to uh, this two-third portion. This is included in the midgut derivative. Now, after the lateral one-third of the transverse colon and the descending colon, and if I remove this coils of small intestine, we can have down, if you can see, the sigmoid colon and the rectum, they all are included in the hindgut derivatives. Among the derivatives of foregut, never forget that the liver and biliary apparatus means bile duct and uh, gallbladder and pancreas, they being a gland associated with GIT, are also derived from the foregut.